Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? Um, I think they were trying to save the best for last, that's why I had to come last. But um, I'm actually representing PTI today. Uh, we're standing... We're st uh, I will come to Urdu. But we're standing for um, uh, our intra-party elections. And basically I'm here as a British Pakistani. And we have, um, I mean, second generation. And I think it, it's important to realize. I will, I will speak. Thank you. Thank you. I will speak. Let us speak whatever she in the English. We are just actually, we understand English. We can't get this. Okay, so, sorry. Please carry on. Please carry on. Okay. Sorry for that uh, brief in uh, interruption. Um, so basically, I'm here from, my name's Nadi Ramzan Jodhri. I'm here from uh, PTI. I'm standing as the information secretary in the intra-party elections, which are actually on Monday. Um, and you might be asking the question, why would a British Pakistani get involved in a Pakistani political movement? What's in it for her or what's in it for her uh, generation? Um, I'd like to give you the um, statement that Imran Khan, uh, our chairman of our party, no, 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 Pakistan. no, no on, on overseas Pakistanis issue relevant to PTI. Um, actually, uh, we were at the Geo Jung Forum, uh, Razi Khan, myself, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Sarbalan Saab, and at the Geo Jung Forum on Overseas Pakistanis Voting Rights, uh, Razi Khan actually challenged me and said that no political parties are supporting overseas Pakistanis in their quest for voting rights. So um, I used whichever sources I could and I got a statement right from um, Chairman Imran Khan, um, right there and then. It's on Twitter. I'll just read it out to you. PTI's commitment on overseas Pakistanis' right to vote will never falter. We have gone to the ECP to ensure that this right is enforced and ideas on how are also given. Because get there now that you should come with solutions, not with problems. So basically, I want to say that overseas Pakistanis Pakistan ki ek asset hai. Ye asset, but then it definitely before I was born, ye asset hum accrue kar rahe And kyunki hum UK PCCI ki uh, saath ye organization shuru kar rahe hain, to zaire sare business minded log hain, to definitely hum is asset ko zaire nahi hona chahenge. To jab hum dekh rahe hain ki uh, Pakistan mein itself log is tarah se is direction mein ja rahe hain, so definitely, we as one community and unite Look, I can tell you a story in 2010, I stood as a uh, councillor candidate for the Conservative Party. And I was shocked to find out, until 2010, if anybody had asked me, I would say, I am a British citizen. That's it. My parents are from Pakistan, but I'm a British citizen. Now, what happened in 2010 was, um, from within my party, I, I faced racism, I faced Islamophobia, and you could say I was a victim of my own success because I was chosen for a safe seat, and um, the people within the party rebelled against that. Why is this? And they didn't say that I was a British person who got that seat. They said a Pakistani, a girl, a Muslim has got that seat. That's the day when I realized I'm not just British, I'm a British Pakistani. We have a dual identity. And like, I'm a dual identity. I'm a dual identity. I'm a dual identity. I'm a dual identity. You are uh, British Pakistanis. Now, what's the point of being British Pakistani if you don't have a say, if you're not a stakeholder in both, both of the, the places that. Have a, you have a constitutional right that's been given, and this didn't come cheap. It came with blood, sweat, and tears. Definitely everybody here's family has suffered for Pakistan and has contributed for Pakistan. So then why are we being denied this right? I'd also like to say that identity is something that's beyond uh, boundaries. It's beyond law. 
So even if uh, decisions are being made on a legal, legal basis, that cannot overcome the human emotion and the feelings that all of us must have for Pakistan. That has come from our parents, has come from our grandparents, and no law and no legal structure can deny that. But we have to unite in this organization that uh, uh, Sheikh Sarbalan Saab and, and Razi Khan Saab have taken the initiative to do. And when we unite in this, I'm only in PTI for the values and for the ideology. It's just one route to get those rights which are natural, which are natural born rights. And all the political parties, I've got respect for all of them, they're just routes to get the same rights that are the rights wherever you're born or wherever you are. And um, I would like you to remember that the youth are the future. And I'm sorry to say uh, to, to the gentleman over here, you're going to be facing a lot of Pakistanis, British Pakistanis, who wouldn't be comfortable to speak in any other language than English. So you could say maybe I'm a pioneer in that. So please bear with me. You will, you will be seeing many more. Um, I mean, if you had to quantify the asset that the uh, diaspora, the overseas Pakistanis are, I think it would go into multi-billions. I mean, if anybody wants to take a guess at the, at the wealth and the asset that we represent, this law that's uh, uh, being affected is a challenge. And actually, if you think about all of the complaints that we have about the corruption in Pakistan, this is the biggest corruption and this is the biggest theft that Pakistan is going to have to face because this is going to go on for generations. We must not let this tie be cut and we must get involved in grassroots political activism for our community over here. So we benefit as a community here and we have a lobby, a strong political lobby, just like APAC is in USA. And we have to remember that only by uniting we can have that power and that we can have that say, which we can never have if we're divided. Thank you very much for bearing with me.